Okay, I'm going to do uh, one more video today. This will be the fourth one. This one's, this one's going to be about Job. This is kind of what I was waking up wanting to do. Um, uh, but first, you know, when I saw the comments, I these guys are making some great comments, and I wanted to address those because those are uh, more fun, in my opinion. Uh, and maybe not more fun, but they're fun to address and um, appreciate very much the comments and People are very smart, and they're not always right, but they're not always wrong. So I enjoy uh, addressing those and sharing my thoughts along with your thoughts. I, I enjoy very much your thoughts, uh, right or wrong. Uh, enjoy it very much. And so I want to share something uh, a little bit different here that I haven't talked about for a while, and that is Job and the question of who is Job. So... If we do a like a word search for Job, of course, there's the book of Job. Now, some people, I don't hear it very often, or I haven't heard it for quite a while, actually. So hopefully this idea has is, is just been tossed aside and no longer being uh, pushed by, you know, uh, people that don't know what they're talking about. All right, so <laughs> to, put it, to put it kindly, right? Now, where... So the people used to say that Job was before the flood. All right. And that's not the case at all. Job was not before the flood. Job was after Abraham and before Moses. And, um, uh, and to prove that, I guess, uh, we can see here, like <clears throat> in Genesis 10, 36 and 36, talking about Jobob or Jobob. Or Jobab, or whatever his name is. Okay. But in Genesis 46, oh, there we go. There's Job. Okay, so if you, you know, let's see. How do we, how do we define this? Okay, so just to clarify. All right. And, uh, oh, right there. I wanted to save that. I wanted to save that one right there. Now, just to clarify. Okay, so when was Abraham in the Bible? Well, uh, I can't spell Abra. Abra. All right. So Abram, Abram, and Abraham is the same person. So we start reading about Abram in Genesis eleven. All right. He's mentioned quite a bit here, but so we got an idea, and, that, and then of course, uh, what I have here, what I want to save is this: when Jacob died. Okay, and this when Jacob died was in. Genesis 49. All right, of course, Jacob is known as Israel. All right, so, and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. All right, so, when do we read about Moses? Moses comes into play in the book of Exodus. All right, the first mention, Exodus 2, as a child. So, uh, in, in, uh, Genesis 49, or I'm sorry, 46, I thought it was. What I do? Copy over it. There we go. All right, so in Genesis 46, we read about Job. And the sons of Issachar was Job. Now, so that puts us, um, you could say, well, Job was alive during the time of, of uh, Jacob, right? But if you go to the book of Job, and we can do that right now. You'll see that there's uh, high praise for Joseph, uh, for uh, Job, right? And there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and was and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and shewed evil. All right, so uh, this was obviously a great man. Let's see. So that this man was the greatest of all men. Of all the men of the east, all right. So this uh, this would have to be not during the time of Abraham and Jacob, and not during the time of Moses. It has to be in between, all right, because there's such a high praise which is given to him because he had great faith. He feared God and shewed evil, not because his uh, he wasn't perfect because his, uh, you know, 
the angels didn't have sex with his mom or whatever these people are wanting to say. It's not a physical, but a, a spiritual perfection. All right. So I just want to clarify that. And of course, people will say they'll deny anything. You can say Jesus is the Christ. They'll deny that. It doesn't matter. Whatever you say, there's going to be somebody that say, no, that's not right. All right, and so the objection to this is people will say, well, uh, this is talking about, uh, you know, in Job 1 is in the land of ooze, and then these people in uh, Genesis 46, I'm not sure if it even says it. The ob objection is they're on a different place. They're, I think they're in Egypt or something like that. Yeah. He said, well, these guys were in Egypt, and this is ooze, and ooze is not Egypt, or whatever they want to say. Well, you know, the, the thing is, I, you know, I used to live in, in Minneapolis, and I used to live in Kansas City. So let's use Minneapolis as an example, okay? Because I lived in Iniap uh, Minneapolis. I, I'm not from Iowa, so therefore I'm not me. Is that what you're going to say? You can't say that somebody lived in two places? That's your argument? Okay, that's fine. You want to argue that, then where is Job in the Bible? Where? What timeline do you want to say? Just in what proof do you have? What evidence do you have? I'm telling you, from Genesis 46, that's Job of the book of Job. Guarantee it. No question about it. No doubt about it whatsoever. And these people that reject that are just trying to add confusion because they don't know anything. And they, they can't tell you. Uh, with any evidence whatsoever where Job fits in the Bible timeline. All they want to do is confuse you and get you to doubt and just probably, um, it probably helps some perverted doctrine that they're teaching as well. But just to clarify, just to make real simple, Genesis 46, Job, same Job as the book of Job. Same one. All right. And if your argument is, well, Genesis 46 is by Egypt and and uh, Job 1 is ooze, that's a poor, poor argument. Very poor. Sad, pathetic, and ridiculous. And, uh, you know, this really takes away from the whole book of Job, if you ask me. Uh, it... To say that this was, this all happened before the flood, uh, you know, you probably don't hear it very often. I haven't heard it for a while, but I used to hear it quite a bit, and it just doesn't hold water that Job lived before the flood. All right, or you know what you'll hear is people the, the oldest book in the Bible is Job, huh? Really? How do you know that? You don't know that. Well, Job was before Moses. Okay. All right. But how do you know? Job is the oldest book. You don't know. You're just guessing. All right. So you're making a big deal out of nothing, right? That's all I got. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to get into anything else here. Um, I guess might as well stir the pot a little bit. You see the phrase sons of God, all right? And you know I love this subject because it's crazy. It just drives me nuts how many people are just so wrong about this. Okay, so Genesis, or I'm sorry, Job 1, it's talking about um, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan was also among them. This is obviously on earth. It's not in heaven. If you think it's in heaven, it's as if you've never read the book of Job. All right, so if these sons of God here on, are on earth, then the idea that the sons of God are angels is completely false. Your doctrine falls apart. And if the sons of God in Job 1 are men, then the sons of God in, I'm sorry, in Job chapter 1, then the sons of God in chapter 38 are also men. Okay. If it's men here, then it's men here. All right. It's men every time it's mentioned. It's not angels ever, not even a single time anywhere in the Bible. All right. Now, dwell on that. Good day.